Here's a house. Here's a door. Windows. One, two, three, four. Ready to knock? Turn the lock. Play school. There you go, Humpty. Kia ora. I've been putting shoes on all of the toys. Jemima has her favourite light blue slippers on that keep her feet nice and warm. See, she's wearing her jammers today. And Big Ted has his running shoes, his gym shoes on. And Little Ted has his black shiny boots with the laces in them. And Manu is wearing her favourite red sandals to keep her feet nice and cool. And of course Humpty, he's got his boots on, his gum boots. Humpty's got his boots on for work. Old Humpty's never known to shirk. He clumps along the roads to lift the heavy loads and he sings along the muddy roots. Do -do -do -do. Oh, these are my boots, my boots, my boots. These are my boots, my boots. Well, Humpty, let's clump over to the picture boards and see what day it is today. Do you know what day it is today? We've had Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday. So today is the last day of the week on Play School. Friday. Paraire. Kote paraire tenera. And the picture? It's a pair of shoes, but they look a bit different, don't they? See, they've got taps on the heel and on the toe because these are tap dancing shoes. Hello. I've just been doing some tap dancing and I'm wearing my special tap dancing shoes. They're called tap dancing shoes because they've got special metal plates called taps here on the toe and on the heel. And the sole is a special leather sole. And when you tap them on the floor, they make a nice tapping sound. I feel like doing some more dancing. I've been collecting some metal bottle tops. I've got eight, because I'm going to make some tap dancing shoes. They're really easy to make too. Just use your ordinary shoes and put the taps on the bottom, on the soles. Just put two on the front, like Nick had on his shoes. Make the tap for the front, and you use sticky tape. You need a nice long piece. And you put it across the metal bottle tops and around your shoe to hold it in place. And you do the same at the back. Two on the back, nice long piece of tape, and across the heel. That's one ready. I'll make the other one. Same on this shoe, two in the front, and sticky tape, nice long piece. If you try this, it's a good idea to try tapping outside on the footpath. Makes a good sound outside or try it on a hardwood floor. It won't work on the carpet. Or even the kitchen floor might be a good place. Here we are, the taps on the back and on the front of that shoe too. Right, put them on. What do you think they'll sound like? 
This is quite a good floor here. So they might make a good sound on this floor. But do up my shoes so I don't trip over the laces. All right. I'll go for a walk. See what they sound like. Want Humpty? Ah, oh, they sound good when I walk. Shoes. I think I need a bit of practice before I sound like Nick. They sound pretty good when I walk. Would you like to go for a walk? Sit there, Humpty. I'll take my tap dancing shoes off and go in my socks. You come for a walk too, if you like. We'll pretend to go to town, see what we can see. Ready to stand up and go for a walk? I went to town one morning and I walked like this. I walked like this, walked like this. I went to town one morning and I walked like this. All on the way to town. And on the way to town, you'll never guess what I saw. I saw a rabbit with long ears and it hopped like this. Can you hop like this? Have a go. I went to town one morning and I hopped like this. This hopped like this, hopped like this. I saw a little rabbit and I hopped like this all on the way to town. And as I walked further on into town, you'll never guess what I saw, but a great big puddle of water. So I had a splash, splashed in the puddle. Can you splash? Kick up your legs and have a good splash. I splashed like this, splashed like this, splashed like this. I saw a great big puddle and I splashed like this all on the way to town. And as I walked further into town, I saw a sleeping baby in a pram. So I tiptoed by very quietly. Can you tiptoe? Get right up on your toes and walk just on your toes and very softly and quietly. I saw a sleeping baby, so I tiptoed by. I tiptoed by, I tiptoed by. I saw a sleeping baby, so I tiptoed by. All on the way to town. Shh. Well, you can make lots of, oh. You can make lots of noises, different sounds with your feet, and you can wear lots of different things on your feet. Have a look at some feet through the circle. Wobbly feet. Can you guess which feet are mine? And which feet are mine? Are these my feet? Are these my feet? These feet? They're my feet. And these feet are my feet. Cold feet. 
because they haven't got any shoes or socks on. Five little toes, colder than my nose. They wiggle and they squiggle, those five little toes. Cold feet. Cold feet. Are you wriggling your toes? You can wriggle them even if you're in shoes. Keep them warm. Five little toes, colder than my nose. They wiggle and they squiggle, those five little toes. Cold feet. Cold feet. Ooh. Actually, they're not too bad, but I think I'll go and put my shoes on anyway. <laughs> I like bare feet. They're not really cold just now. But there are some people on the picture boards today without any feet. Let's have a look at them. And here is a ballet dancer. And this one over here is a rugby player. Next to that one as a scuba diver. And here's someone dressed up for the cold. It could be an ice skater. And down here, we've got some pictures of some feet. There's a foot there, and a foot there. Another foot, another foot. And here we've got some flippers. Flippers belonging to a scuba diver. Well, they don't really go with the ballet dancer, do they? What about the rugby player? <laughs> no, I can't see the rugby player sloshing through the mud and flippers, but the flippers go with the scuba diver. Now, we've got some rugby boots next. Who do you think they go with? The ballet dancer? <laughs> no, that'd be a bit loud. But it looks like they fit on the rugby player. Who's next? Skates. Well, these skates don't look like they fit the ballet dancer. And we've been over these two, so they must fit the ice skater. Here we go, ice, ice skates. And here we have some ballet pumps. And the ballet pumps fit on the ballet dancer. So now we have a ballet dancer wearing ballet pumps and a rugby player wearing rugby boots and a scuba diver wearing flippers and a skater wearing ice skates, all fitting. Nick, little Ted would like a story. It's one of your favourites, so would you like to tell it or shall I? I'd love to tell it, Pauline. Thought you might. Come along, little Ted. Let's go okay. and sit down. Well, one, while Nick gets ready for the story, Let's have a look at the clock and see what time it is. Well, the long hand has gone halfway around the clock and it's pointing straight down. So that means it's half past something. And the short hand, it's halfway between the number nine and the next number. So the time on the play school clock is half past nine. What's underneath? <laughs> Do you know what that is? That's right, it's a bicycle. And the story today is Mrs. Armitage on wheels. Let's have a look at the first picture. Mrs. Armitage was out on her bicycle. Breakspear, the dog, ran alongside. A hedgehog walked across the road. See the little hedgehog there? Tring, tring, went Mrs. Armitage on the bell. What this bike needs, said Mrs. Armitage to herself, is a really loud horn. So Mrs. Armitage bought three horns, and they were all very loud. Beep beep. Honk honk. Pa hee ha <laughs> Went Mrs. Armitage on her horns. And look, there she is with her three horns. And she's frightened some people with them. Then the chain came off. By the time Mrs. Armitage had got it on again, her hands were all black and greasy. What this bug needs, said Mrs. Armitage to herself, is somewhere to wash your hands. So she got a bucket of water and a towel and a soap rack and some soap, and she hung them all on the bike 
And off she went with beautifully clean hands. There she is with her towel, bucket, and her three horns. What this bike needs, said Mrs. Armitage to herself as she cycled along, if it's to be looked after properly, is a complete toolkit. So, she got a toolbox with spanners and screwdrivers and hammers and cans of penetrating oil, and she fixed it on the back of the bicycle, and off she went. By now, Mrs. Armitage was beginning to think about food. What this bike needs, said Mrs. Armitage to herself, is somewhere to carry a light snack. So, she got a tray for apples and bananas and cheese and tomato sandwiches and a holder for a bottle of lemonade and a flask of cocoa and a special basket of bones and dog biscuits for breaks beer and she fixed them all to the bike and off they went. But by now, poor breaks beer was feeling quite tired running alongside the bicycle. You could tell because his dung was hanging out and he was panting. What this spike needs, said Mrs. Armitage to herself, is somewhere for a faithful dog to ride on. So, she got some metal brackets and some nuts and bolts and some cushions and she made a seat for Breakspear. And there he is, sitting on his seat with his basket of bones. And off they went. Well, they had stopped beside the road for some sandwiches and dog biscuits when it began to rain. Great heavens, said Mrs. Armitage. What the spike needs, Brakespear, is something to keep the rain off. So she got two umbrellas, one large and one small, and she fixed them up on the bicycle and off they went. Riding through the rain, Mrs. Armitage began to feel rather downhearted. What the spike needs, said Mrs. Armitage to herself, is a bit of cheerful music. So, she got a radio cassette transistor radio, and she got some cassettes of cheerful music, and she got a mouth organ so that she could play along too. And she fixed them all to the bike, and off they went. And there she is, there's Breakspear under his umbrella, sitting on his seat with his basket of bones. There's the toolkit, the towel, the bucket, the soap, the bag of food, the three horns, the transistor radio cassette player and the mouth organ. What a lot of stuff. Mrs Armitage was turning the pedal so fast and blowing the mouth organ so hard that soon she was nearly exhausted. What the spike needs, said Mrs Armitage to herself, is a bit of extra oomph. So, she got some wood and some ropes and some tarpaulin. She rigged up a mast and a sail and added a few yards of bunting and an anchor into the bargain. And off they went with the wind behind them. Faster and faster and faster until crash, clatter, clang, thud. Pa hi ha -he. There's Mrs. Armitage landing on her horn. Oh, what a mess. There's a broken radio cassette player, bucket upturned, umbrella fly. <laughs> Poor old Breakspear right in the middle of it all. What a mess. What this bike needs, Breakspear, said Mrs. Armitage, as she picked herself from the wreckage, is taking to the dump. And what I need is... Roller skates. Whoopee! And there she is, speeding along in the roller skates. But what these roller skates need, said Mrs. Armitage to herself, what these roller skates need is... <laughs> and that's the end of the story of Mrs. Armitage and her bicycle.
bicycle needs is handlebars. If I find something in here. Hey, hey. Just the thing. Handlebars for my bicycle. They should work. And here's my bicycle, just made out of some blocks. Just a small block from the front. There's the handlebars. I'm all ready to go. Riding along on a push bike, honey, when I noticed you. Riding downtown in a hurry, honey. Down South Avenue, you looked so pretty. As you were riding along, you looked so pretty. As you were singing this song. bikes. Have a look at some. Here's a push bike, handlebars, someone's riding at home from school. And another but smaller bike this time and it's got training wheels at the back to help it balance. These are racing bikes and they go pretty fast so the people riding them have got helmets on. This is a funny looking bike. It's just got one wheel. I think it's a unicycle. And can you see who's riding it? It's Nick. It's another racing bike. It's a BMX bike on a BMX track. So the rider's wearing a helmet here too. And this is called a tricycle. That's because it's got three wheels. It's also got big handlebars. And I think it's got a little bell on the handlebars. Here's Nick on that unicycle again, but a taller one this time. Ah, oh, this is a good looking bike. It's a tandem. Two people can ride this bike. That looks like a good idea. I'm gonna make a tandem. So Nick and I can ride together. You ready, Nick? Oh yes, I'm ready. Got some handlebars. We're all set. All set. Riding along on a push bike, honey, when I noticed you. Riding downtown in a hurry, honey. Down South Avenue, you look so pretty. As you were riding along, you look so pretty. As you were singing this song, singing the song. Down, down, wheels going round, round, round. round. Down, up, pedals, down, down, up, down. But I gotta get across to the other side of town before the sun goes down. Hey, hey, hey. Well, it's time we cycled off home now, I think. Have a Bye. good weekend. Bye bye. What now? This week, Annie Crummer. We take a look at Kath's trip to Japan and the excitable locals. There's more bumblings from Danger Doris. So join the fun. With Kath, Aaron and Annie on What Now? This Saturday, 8am on 2.